Are you still angry? Don't be upset. Kathy is upset because David didn't come home last night. He was out with his co-workers, celebrating the success of the American Fair. Hello. Feel better now? Mm. Well, now that the fair is over, it looks like peace will return to their home once again. I think it's about time for them to spend some time together and enjoy life in Japan. Kathy and David have decided to take a short trip to Kamakura. Kamakura is a natural fortress protected by mountains and the sea. Kamakura was the base for Japan's first warrior government, known as the Kamakura Shogunate, starting in the late 12th century. History. Isn't that something? Along with Kyoto and Nara, Kamakura is one of the oldest cities in Japan. Many ancient shrines and temples are still standing here. Information board is right over there. Let's go check it out. The bronze statue of Amita Buddha Daibutsu, or Great Buddha, was oh, wait, cast wait. in 12... Daibutsu. Dai means big, uh -huh. or great. Uh -huh. So, Butsu means Buddha. Ah, it's okay. Oh, with the uh, Daibutsu in the background. Okay, that's good. Okay. Right. Cheese! Cheese! Ah! Oh, oh, just... Sumimasen. Oh, shashin tote iru desu. Ii desu ka? Hai, cheese! あの、もういいですかはい、ありがとうございます。おはようございます。もう、岡村君。もうリポート出しましたか出しましたか出しましたか? means, have you turned it in? It's an expression prompting an action, as we learned in Lesson 15. This form is used in situations where the status of two parties is not equal, or when the two don't know each other very well. 出しましたか? 出しましたか? あ、まだなんです。すぐ出します。じゃあ、教授に出してくださいね。はい、すぐに。あ、忘れないでね。あ、はい。Oh, 
ムーヌくんもうリポート出した出した出した When used between close friends, this expression is changed to 出した It has the same meaning, only in a casual form. In this form, the かアッディエンドは見る。アンディエントネーションアッディエンドは見る。アンディエントネーションアッディエンドは見る。アンディエントネーションアッディエンドは見る。アンディエントネーションアッディエンドは見る。アンディエントネーションアッディエンドは見る。アンディエントネーションアッディエンドは見る。アンディエントネーションアッディエンドは見る。アンディエントネーションアッディエンドは見る。アンディエントネーションアッデ準備しましたか。準備しましたか。準備した。準備した。準備した。meaning have you set it up。is a casual form。often used to a friend。or to someone who is younger。or in a lower social status。this isn't necessarily an abrupt expression。because it can indicate a feeling of closeness。準備した。準備した。The characters in the following skits will either use the casual form した or the formal form しましたか Please watch how these forms are used in different situations. ケンちゃんもうご飯食べた食べた食べた Let's watch it again. ケンちゃんもうご飯食べたうんまだちょっと触って早く食べてお母さん出かけるんだからはいケンちゃんもう一時ですよご飯食べましたかうんまだこれから早くしなさいよはいこの作品は、母が使うのカジュアルフォーム、食べた、and the grandmother uses the formal expression、食べましたか。Many older women in Japan speak formally even in their daily lives. Of course, there are many who use the casual language as well. 食べた、食べた、食べましたか、食べましたか。これをコピーに太って。佐伯君。はい。もう郵便局行った。行った。行った。いや、すみません、まだなんです。すぐ行きます。じゃあ頼むよ。速達でね。はい。佐々木さん、はい、郵便局行きましたか。行きましたか。行きましたか。えっと。これをコピーに太って。佐々木君。はい。もう郵便局行った。いや、すみません、まだなんです。すぐ行きます。じゃあ頼むよ。速達でね。はい。佐々木さん。はい。郵便局行きましたか。いや、これからなんです。急がないと、もう四時半ですよ。はい。行ってきます。お願いね。はい
The boss speaks to a young secretary in a casual way, saying, Itta, meaning, did you go? In this situation, the boss uses the casual form to sound frank and friendly. The businesswoman, on the other hand, uses the formal expression, Ikimashita ka? Itta? Itta? Ikimashita ka? Ikimashita ka? すいません。はい、どうもさいました。頭が痛いんですが。じゃ、こちらに住所とお名前お願いします。はい。ご検証お願いします。書いた。書いた。書いた。まだ。書きましたか？書きましたか？書きましたか？ すいません。はい、どうもさいました。頭が痛いんですが。じゃ、こちらに住所とお名前お願いします。はい。お検証お願いします。書いた。まだ。書きましたか？はい。これでいいですか？はい、結構です。それではそちらに入ってお待ちください。The man uses the casual form "kaita." Did you write it to his wife? Married couples and family members use casual expressions to each other. On the other hand, the receptionist uses the polite form, kakimashita ka, to the couple. Kaita? Kaita? Kakimashita ka? Kakimashita ka? それ最近売れてるらしいわね。もう読みましたか？読みましたか？読みましたか？感激しちゃった。え、何？見せて。これも読んだ？読んだ？読んだ？ The girl on the left uses the polite form, "読みましたか?" meaning, "Did you read it?" to the other two girls because she is younger than they are. On the other hand, the girl in the middle uses the casual form yonda to the girl on the right. This indicates that these two are close friends and probably the same age. Yomimashitaka? Yomimashitaka? Yonda? Yonda? Takashi-san, dekita? Dekita? できた? ごめんなさい、まだなんです。もうちょっと。じゃあ、後でまた来るわ。はい。あの、高橋さん、僕の処理もうできましたか? できましたか? できましたか? できた。ごめんなさい。まだなんです。もうちょっと。そう。じゃあ、後でまた来るわ。はい。あの、高橋さん。僕の処理もうできましたか。えっと、これね。できてるわよ。あ、ありがとうございます。竹田くんも早くは
The woman on the right uses the casual expression, dikta, meaning did you finish it, to the woman in the middle. This indicates that the two women are fairly close. On the other hand, the young man uses the polite form, dekimashita ka? This shows that he is a junior to the woman he was speaking to. Dekita? Dekita? Dekimashita ka? Dekimashita ka? Now, back to Kathy and David in Kamakura. They're wandering around, browsing through the souvenir shops, looking at some of the traditional crafts. Just to make things more interesting, they have decided to try speaking nothing but Japanese today. Oh. Okay. Okay, it's English. But Japanese use it a lot. Ah, okay. That one doesn't count. Mo kapta. It's a more casual way of saying it. Ah, English. Ah. Mo kaita. Mada. You show a color nine this guy. Look it up on the laptop. Ah. Hey, good up. Well, let's stop this. I mean, it's so beautiful here. It's a pity not to talk about it just because we don't know enough Japanese. Yeah, you're right. Of course. Application. Steven-san, this is what I'm going to ask. Yes. Steven-san, you called me. I don't know the phone. You called me? Denwa means have you phoned? If you haven't because you don't know how, say kakekata meaning I don't know how to use the phone. Kakekata, how to use the phone, is formed by dropping the masu in kakemas to phone and replacing it with kata. Then you have Kakekata, which means how to use the phone. Kakemas, kakemas, kakekata, kakekata, kakekata ga wakaranai desu ga, kakekata ga wakaranai desu ga. This is a Japanese calligraphy class. These students from other Asian countries are learning it for the first time. みなさん、墨を筆ましたか? This means, do you know how to hold the brush? 筆の持ち方わかりますか? 筆の持ち方わかりますか? classes will be shown in the following skits. A kimono class, a ceramic painting class, and a calligraphy class. The instructors in each class will explain in detail the steps involved. This kanji is pronounced nigi, meaning right. Let's take a look at how it's written. Please note the order of each stroke. じゃあ、次は右と右に。はい、書きました。次は左から右に。書きましたかはい。今度は口の部分です。
はい、書きました。Let's review the order. Next is the kimono class. Here, students learn how to put on a kimono. Many young people in Japan today are not accustomed to wearing a kimono and don't know how to put one on properly. Here, the order of the steps is explained. Hi, Mina san, how are you? Hi. Nanko san, how are you? Hi, how are you? Oil, more, just a little bit. Hi. はい、よろしいですね。次は紐を結びます。よしこさん、ちょっとこのシワもう少し伸ばしてね。はいあなた結んだはいはい高子さん結んだはい結びましたはいえそれでは皆さんこれから帯を巻いてくださいはい皆さんシワにならないようにご自分が回ってくださいねはいみこさん。巻いた。まだです。たかこさんは巻いた。はい、これでいいですか。はい、あの巻くときにしわにならないように気をつけてね。はい、あなたもね。はい。二重在庫はね、この間に枕を入れるのね。ですから、あの山が曲がらないようにしながら、枕を。枕をこの間にね、きちんとこう入れてください。入れたらば、しっかりと。高子さん入れたそう枕ねもっと真ん中に入れないとダメなのよそれねそしてあの山が曲がらないようにね他の方はどうかしらはおった羽織った。Did you tie the string? 紐を結んだ。紐を結んだ。Did you wrap the 帯 around? 帯を巻いた。帯を巻いた。Did you put the pillow inside? 帯枕を入れた。帯枕を入れた。These are the steps involved in wearing a kimono. Now, this is the ceramics painting class. どう皆さん書いた？和也さん書いた？はいもう少しです。ひろこさん書いた？書きました。じゃあ書いた人から絵の具を解いてください。はい、皆さん解いた？はい解きました、はい。ちょっと硬いですか？あ大丈夫。じゃあ絵の具を塗りましょう。はい。はい。うん。皆
さん濡れた。はい、はい、濡れました。加藤さん濡れた。もうすぐできますから。<笑>あじゃあ、釜に入れましょう。みんな入れ、入れた。はい。和也さん入れた。はい、はいはい、すぐ入れます。はい。お願いします。はいはいはい。はい、では。では、来週。はい、じゃあ、ありがとうございました。let's review the order involved。did you dry it。書いた。書いた。did you mix the paint。絵の具を溶いた。絵の具を溶いた。did you paint it。濡れた。濡れた。did you put it inside。入れた。入れた。These are the steps involved. Well, it looks like it's going to be a success in other cities too. I'm sure it will be. Thanks. <laughs> David, good job at the American Fair. And Kathy, thank you very much for your support. Our American train will be leaving for other cities in Japan. The fair will be held all over the country, and David will be there to look after things. He's far from being perfect, but I love the guy. <coughs> I'm not Tom Cruise. My name's Arthur Kroda. And I hope you guys enjoy this Japanese program and ow! Keep practicing, you know? And that's all you need. And if you need any more help, I'll be there. We'd better join them, Kathy. Yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Emmy Inoue. Don't forget me, and I hope that. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. I'm not going to be able to get out of here. I'm not going to be able to get out of here. I'm not going to be able to get out of here. I'm not going to be able to get out of here. I'm not going to be able to get out of here. I'm not going to be able to get out of here. I'm not going to be able to get out of here. I'm not going to be able to get out of here. I'm not going to be able to get out of here. Oh, oh, hi, oh, welcome hi. to the show. It's Yo. ending, you know. Oh, hi, uh, I really like this show. You know what? I wish you join us show. again next time. time because I thought it was very oh, interesting. Oh, 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 I don't believe this. I've never seen them so lively. Well, this is the end of the second series of NHK Japanese. We hope you'll join us again in the next series. Sayonara.